हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ह्योर इज अ बेसिक गाइडलाइन फॉर योर सेप्टेंबर 2024 एग्जामिनेशंस आईएफओए नाउ यू जस्ट हैव अप्रोक्सिमेटली थ्री वीक्स लेफ्ट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन सम ऑफ यू जस्ट हैव टू वीक्स सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल ऑफ अस आर गेटिंग इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर इन दीज कमिंग टू थ्री वीक्स नाउ यू हैव मोरलेस कवर्ड ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो हैव डिवाइडेड पेपर ए एंड पेपर बी इफ यू आर जस्ट हैविंग पेपर ए देन दिस इज ऑल दैट यू नीड to do so let's first quickly see what all are the things that you might have done or you should be doing for the material you need to read the summary of all the chapters um it's a one page or two page summary that is uh, there after each chapter in your material x assignments generally there are 5 to 6 4 to 6 x assignments depending on the papers x assignments are very very important for concept building understanding whether your concepts are clear you have understood what should be there and if you are able to solve the x assignment questions it means that your concepts are crystal clear then the class notes so if you have taken classes you will you will be having amazing class notes uh for example if i talk about my cs2 uh cb2 cs1 students they have beautiful class notes uh i suggest my cs2 students specifically that please read your class notes at least half an hour every day in that way what happens is that your concepts are getting stronger i have seen students who are not able to relate a question to a particular concept in order to crack your exam any professional exam and specifically actuarial exam ifa where it's all subjective you need to relate the question with the particular concept if you are able to relate a question with a particular concept and you are able to get what the concept was how to you know proceed ahead you will be easily able to complete the question so that is why i see even the easier topics questions from easier topics students are not able to solve it properly why because they are not able to relate it to the core concept so it's very very important that you relate it to the core concept and for the, that your concept building should be very important that is why i wrote summary but summary is a very concise form you can just like take out 2 3 hours and read summary of all the chapters maybe one day or two day before your exam but class notes is something which is extremely important um cs1 students cm1 students you have amazing class notes please don't take it lightly don't consider don't underestimate the class notes it's extremely good so please please do go through uh, every day half an hour just take out time at night or in morning or maybe while traveling you can easily go through past your papers so considering you just have to do two and two three weeks left for examinations now most of you have done quite a few past papers right past exam questions those who haven't uh, who those who have just done like 10 years 15 years uh, 15 terms or 10 terms paper that's completely okay see it's not about the number of questions which you are solving it's always about the concept plus some practice questions so even though if you have made like 10 to 15 terms of papers it's more than enough and it's sufficient for your exam don't do anything new for the coming 2 to 3 weeks whatever you have done it's all revision that you have to now do so typing practice every day you need to at least you know do one or two hours of typing practice what you can do is easily solve the past year question papers recent term past papers in the word so that is how you can practice and see whether your time is good or not and make sure from whatever laptop you are practicing you are keeping that laptop only for your examination uh self evaluated mocks now we had conducted mocks we are still uh checking and giving you back the mock exam so we have checked two mocks for all of you uh now if you want to self evaluate yourself you can take any past paper for example you can take april 24 september 23 paper sit down for 3 hours 20 minutes give the entire paper and try to self evaluate by looking at the examiner's report now let me just clarify the examiner's report that you get from the institute is a indicative is an indicative solution it's not a complete solution so they don't give the entire sets it's a five if it, if there is a five mark question they will not give you detailed 
steps but in your exam you have to write all the and you have to perform all the steps so this is one co common query which i see students facing uh, that they say that in examiner's report is just very concisely it's written no they have just given you an indicator solution for you to refer and understand how to get the answer but you need to elaborate on your uh, steps in your examination because each step has a mark you have a lot of step marking given by ifa in case of paper b paper b class practice questions that we did in our classes if you practice that two times if you have practiced once please you need to practice it again some easy questions you can just have a look at the codes and just leave it but yes the more you practice all the pr class practice questions it will be very very good similar to x assignments in paper b you have y assignments uh, i will not say it's very important like x assignments but you can still go ahead and practice y assignments if you haven't past your papers you will be having for paper b from april 19 onwards so in in uh, 2020 we did not have one term of exam so you have approximately 10 terms of past papers which is like more than enough you don't need anything else 10 past papers a lot of class practice questions um two y assignments i think that's like more than enough uh, if you practice all of these even two times uh, that will be like very good because it's all about how you are represent think this concept here you know how to represent you know your codes you know your concept you can easily appear for a paper b examination yes cm1 definitely needs a little bit of speed so make sure you do a speed check you practice you again go sit for self evaluated mocks when are 50 minutes whether you are able to finish it or not few quick tips that i will give you one thing is please don't get stuck in one of the questions if you feel that you are not able to complete it or if you feel that you are not getting the answer just skip it and move forward don't run after perfection it's a 100 marks paper the passing marks is 60 passing marks is not 100 so please keep this in mind that passing marks is only 60 approximately 60 so you need to at least complete as much as possible you cannot say that oh i practiced this question how am i not able to do this i was very good in this topic i helped all my students or all my friends uh, peers uh, but now i am not able to solve this question how is this possible no i will solve it don't be so so rigid don't be don't try to attain that perfection if you feel that it's a five mark question and you have already wasted like 2 3 minutes thinking over it still not able to understand skip it and move forward it's not worth it trust me it's more it's always about how many marks you attempt how how much marks you attempt uh, you need to attempt maximum marks of uh, questions rather than you know running after perfection second is please uh, keep in mind about the commenting portion so nowadays uh in ifoi beat any paper they are focusing a lot on the comments in paper a and b both so once you are reading all the past your papers paper a paper b they, just read the comments very nicely you can have your two three pager uh keep your two three pager copy and you can just write the important keywords that is what i also suggest cs2 students in my class that please just write the important keywords cs1 cm1 uh, you will have a lot of keywords you can just write it down so that you you will be able to memorize it on an exam you can use same keywords because for that only you will get marks if it's a four mark commenting portion it should be good four points along with example so good eight points you need to write otherwise you will not score that much marks so this is all about you know uh, what you need to do now in these two weeks how to go about it um you have if you haven't read summary you can read it it will not take more than 3 hours uh, x assignments if you have done it you can just quickly you know again see through all the questions some questions which you feel difficult just appear just practice that otherwise just go through the solution and you can scribble down a few things that's like more than enough class notes every day make it a point that half an hour you are taking out and reading the class notes past your papers if you have practiced like 15 20 terms already don't go ahead because don't do anything new in these coming weeks uh, 
doing anything new will make you more nervous so please don't do anything new whatever papers you have practiced just again start revising it going through it there might be some questions which were difficult practice it on your word there might be some questions which were easy scribble it or maybe just see the solution and that's more than enough in one paper for revision you should not take more than uh, two hours because you're just revising you're not practicing every paper typing comes along with this self evaluated mocks so make sure uh, if you have two weeks for your examination at least two to three self evaluated mocks you're sitting for paper a that is more than enough you don't have to do more uh, same for paper b every day make sure those who have your paper b at least give out two to three hours or to paper b as well minimum this is a minimum i'm asking you to do um, because paper a might be little lengthy you might not be able to finish it but paper b is something which you can easily finish specifically for cs1 cs2 cm2 students cm1 can be sometimes a little lengthy but still you can i have seen a lot of students getting very good marks with good amount of practice so every day make sure you are practicing here what i said typing practice is enough you don't have to practice all questions here make sure you sit in practice at least for one hour minimum rest one hour you can go through the codes go through the questions but minimum one and a half hours you need to practice our programming you need to practice excel because your speed matters a lot on the day of the examination and again pass the papers and self evaluated mocks so every day you can sit for one mock or every day like you can just practice you can just go through the past papers that is like more than enough so this is what you need to do for paper b since you just have two weeks for your examination i hope all of you are putting in your best those who are students not working you can easily take out like 7 hours every day Two weeks before two weeks, you can easily spend seven hours. Like that's uh, something which is important. I also did the same. But yes, those who are working will not be able to give that much time. So for you guys, maximum time you will, that you can give, and on weekends the maximum time you can give. Make sure you keep your daily targets. So these are the pointers which I have made for you. You you should now prepare daily targets that this day I will do this, the day one, day two, and so on up till day fourteen or day. for 18 whatever the number of days are left and it should be not very overwhelming make sure you include some breaks in between uh, on sunday evening you can go watch a movie uh, go out because you are st sitting at home studying entire week maybe you can just have a break go out do whatever you feel like but please have your daily targets don't talk to your friends a lot because i have seen students getting very nervous before the exams they talk to their friends their friends are like okay i'm doing this 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 what have you done and then you are like i have not done this particular thing i have not done uh, this 2016 uh, paper he or she has solved it what will happen i have not done so if you're not doing six sums it's more like it's it's fine it's fine if someone has practiced 100 questions and you, you have just practiced 80 questions it's fine it's not about more 20 questions that you will do it's again and again i'm saying it's all about the concept trust me if your concept is good you will be easily clearing the paper because concept practice makes it perfect you don't have to practice and practice so many questions so this is a basic idea of how you can go ahead for these 2 to 3 weeks the only thing is please don't get nervous have daily targets set in for your for yourself stick it somewhere and you will be ready i will be also making one video on what all things a checklist on things that you have to keep in mind on the day of your examination if you have any questions please comment in the uh, comment in the comment box below thank you